This is the Ralston DPOV pneumatic cylinder hand pump. If your hand pump is no longer holding pressure, we'll go over how to repair or replace the interior or exterior check valves, as well as the O-ring seals on the outlet port and bleed valve. If you have the DPOV pump spare parts kit, two check valves are included in this kit, and the interior and exterior check valves are the same, so you can use either of these check valves on the pump. To remove the external check valve, we'll need one flathead screwdriver and we'll actually press this poppet down while we're unscrewing this check valve. This poppet is what allows the air to go into the cylinder of the pump. However, when we're compressing the air, it doesn't allow the air to escape from the pump. If dust or debris gets into the poppet, it could force the poppet to stay open and that's why our pump could be losing pressure. Also visually inspect the O-ring to make sure there's no dust or debris here. It's also a good idea to apply some light lubricant to these O-ring seals before we reinstall the check valve back into the pump body. With our new check valve, we can simply thread this into place, and you can thread this just tight enough so the O-ring seal engages. You do not need to thread this very tight because if we thread it too tight, we can actually sever the O-ring seal and our check valve could be leaking. That is how we inspect and replace the external check valve. If we have to replace our internal check valve, the process is very similar. However, we'll have to remove the pumping piston. To remove the pumping piston, we'll need an inch and a quarter wrench and remove the piston. Now we can see there's an internal check valve inside the pump. To remove the internal check valve, we'll need one flathead screwdriver and simply unthread the check valve. With our internal check valve removed, we can now visually inspect the poppet and O-ring seals. If there is any damage to the poppet or the O-ring seals and you have the DPOV replacement parts kit, it's a good idea to put this old check valve to the side and pick up a new check valve. With the new check valve, we can visually inspect the poppet and O-ring seals are in good working order, apply some light lubricant or grease to the O-ring seals, and reinstall back into the pump body. Now with our new check valve, we can put it back into our pump body and thread it into place. Be sure not to over tighten the check valve because there are O-ring seals in the bottom of the valve that make a connection to the pump. And speaking of O-ring seals, there's also an O-ring seal in the bottom of the piston that should be free of dust and debris and have a light bit of lubricant applied as well. Now we can thread the pumping piston back into the pump body. After inspecting the internal and external check valves, you can now test the pump to ensure that it is holding pressure. If your pump is still not holding pressure, you may have an issue with your outlet port or bleed valve. Let's go over how to inspect those now. To replace the outlet port on the DPOV, we'll need a 9 16th wrench. And after unthreading this outlet port, we can visually inspect the O-ring seals to make sure that there's no dust or debris under the seals. And if there's any damage to this seal, I would replace it completely with a new one from the DPOV replacement parts kit. Also, I would apply some light lubricant or grease to this seal. And after visually inspecting it, we can insert it back into the pump body. We do not need any thread tape here. And again, do not over tighten this O-ring seal. Just snug it up enough to engage the O-ring seal to the pump body. Disassembling our bleed valve is a very similar process. With our 9 16th wrench, we can loosen the bleed valve and we can remove this from the pump body and visually inspect the O-ring seals to make sure there's no dust or debris under these seals. If the seals are cut or damaged in any way, I would replace this O-ring completely with a new one from the replacement parts kit. I would apply some light lubricant or grease to this O-ring seal. And after the inspection, we can insert it back into the pump body. Again, keeping in mind that that O-ring seal is making the connection to the pump body to not over tighten and damage the seal. With our pump reassembled, we can now attach a gauge and make sure our pump is holding pressure. We will test around 50 PSI. With our pressure stabilizing at 50 PSI, we now know our internal and external check valves are holding, as well as the O-ring seals on our bleed port and outlet port. For more information about the Ralston DPOV pneumatic cylinder hand pump, check out ralstoninst.com DP0V.